Welcome to a Key Stage Wiki, Key Stage 4 summary lesson on energy transfers. Now if you haven't already done so, click on the link below to find more information about energy transfers. So let's start with what an energy transfer is. An energy transfer is whenever we move energy from one energy store into another. Now it turns out this can be done in four different ways. It can be done mechanically, electrically, by heating, and by radiation. So we'll look at mechanically first. A mechanical energy transfer is when we transfer energy from one store to another by the action of a force. So for example, a car which applies its brakes, energy is transferred from the kinetic store into the thermal energy store of the brakes, and this is done so by the action of the force known as friction. There is friction between the brake pads and the disc, which is what causes the brake pads and the disc to heat up. Next, we also have an object that can fall. Well, a falling object has energy transferred from its gravitational potential energy store into its kinetic energy store. When this happens, this is due to the action of the force we call gravity. Next we have our electrical energy transfer, or a transfer by electrical current. When a battery or a cell is attached to a circuit along with a bulb, energy is transferred from the cell, from the chemical potential energy store of that cell or battery, into the thermal energy store of the bulb. That's done by the fact that electrons are moving. It's transferring energy electrically. Next we have heating. We can transfer energy from one store to another by one object heating another. So if I have a hot cup of tea in a room, that cup of tea will cool down. But as it does so, it's actually heating the air around it. And so we started with the thermal energy store of the cup of tea, and we ended with an increased thermal energy store of the air around it. That is a transfer by heating. Now this can further be divided into three different energy transfers. We have conduction, convection and radiation. Conduction is when energy is transferred through a solid where the thermal energy travels along the solid due to vibrating particles hitting one another. Convection is when we have particles moving through a fluid transferring that energy. So for instance if you have a radiator in a room, the radiator is here it increases the temperature of the air around it. That causes the air to become warmer, it becomes less dense because the particles spread apart, and that air rises. When it reaches the ceiling, it begins to cool down. As it does so, it becomes more dense, and it sinks. That pushes air back towards the radiator, and the cycle continues. This is known as a convection current. Now finally, you'll notice the word radiation also happens to be the same as the final energy transfer. Well, there's a bit of an overlap here. In conduction, convection and radiation, we're talking specifically about thermal radiation or infrared light, infrared radiation. Now that's the particular type of radiation that you can feel on your skin on a hot day. When the sun is shining on your skin, what you can feel is the temperature increase due to the infrared radiation being incident upon your skin. Now, finally, radiation in general, energy can be transferred by sound radiation. So as I'm speaking, my voice box is vibrating. That's causing the air particles to vibrate, and that's causing the microphone in the camera to have a vibration of a small plate. What I've done is I've transferred energy from my voice box to the microphone by sound radiation. Similarly, we also have radiation such as radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, UV, X-rays and gamma rays. These are all types of electromagnetic radiation which can transfer energy from one location to the other. This is how energy gets from the Sun to the Earth. The Sun emits various different frequencies of electromagnetic radiation. These travel through space and when they are incident upon the Earth, 
the Earth's temperature increases. So energy has been transferred from the thermal energy store of the Sun to the thermal energy store of the Earth.